the great Reddit hack. For, this story we got from Wired, and I looked at a bunch of these news stories. Hackers flood Reddit with pro-Trump takeovers. By apparently compromising moderator accounts, the attackers were able to post MAGA materials all over at least 70 popular subreddits. The only problem is they're clearly not pro-Trump. They're like caricatures of Trump mocking his ideas, and it's written in Chinese, <laughs> partly. Hmm, I w- that's shady. So, well, so here's, here's the interesting thing, though. So th- these hacks have happened. We'll, we'll get into it. But it reeks of a psyop. Actually, let me read this so you can get some context first. And then I want to break this down because this could be, this actually could be pro-Trump people trying to frame China, trying to frame them. Hmm. You know what I mean? It could be a weird, Good point. you know, who knows? Well, here's what Wired says. In what appears to be a massive coordinated strike against Reddit, hackers took over dozens of pages on Friday afternoon, using their access to plaster pro-Donald Trump imagery across subreddits with huge followings. Coming just over three weeks after hackers used access to high uh, to used after hackers used access to high profile Twitter accounts to tweet a Bitcoin. Oh, wired. What are you talking about? The wave of Reddit compromises has similar eye popping reach. Reddit communities with well over a million members, including r slash space food NFL were defaced with MAGA campaign banners and other pro Trump signage. Now, the interesting thing is what you know, what, man, I've I just can't. It's it's so difficult. I need to start a news organization. Yes, you do. So we can actually fix these stories. First of all, the the the, the high profile Bitcoin scam. Like, come on, man. Get you, you got to be more. It was it was way worse than that. Just to make it seem like some Bitcoin scam happened. It's yeah. Like after the president and the vice president accounts were hacked, and also mention what seems to be pro Trump accounts, but it's actually written in Chinese. They even mention, look at this. We stand with Donald Trump. Myga twenty twenty. What does what does that mean? So, uh, sometime on Friday morning, hackers began breaking into the accounts of the moderators. Uh, they used that access not only to splash pro-Trump imagery all over the page, but in many cases posted a MAGA missive from the moderator's account with the subject, we stand with Donald Trump, MAGA 2020. We, on behalf of the American people, want to implore and strongly encourage you all to vote Trump in 2020 elections of the USA of the USA of America. <laughs> and there are, are they seriously going to going to talk about what is what is this? Read one such message. Is there somebody Wired doesn't have a copy editor, I think, because this is all just really awful. But maybe that's literally what the words were verbatim. You know, no, no, no. I'm Which saying makes sense because if it's look, translated from from Chinese and the, they, they might have not are been. Are you saying the Wired article itself was written in Chinese first? Well, no, this is in quotes. So maybe, maybe no, no, they're this taking... part I'm highlighting isn't. Oh, read one such. Oh, read one such message. Period. Uh, period. Uh, or comma. But they're like not capitalizing. They're missing words. Oh, okay. I'm I, saying see, Wired... I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Posted to a college football focused R slash CFB. The post goes on to call the novel coronavirus a hoax. Loosely compares Trump to Batman and ends with a list of 10 things Democrats did wrong, which includes nice people are hated by the Democrats as a bullet point in the case of r slash CFB. The hackers also sent the community to private, leaving only an emoji strewn pro-Trump message on the landing page for those locked out. An investigation is underway related to a series of vandalized communities, said a Reddit spokesperson. It appears the source of the attacks were compromised moderator accounts. We are still working to lock down those accounts and restore impacted communities. They say hackers attempted to claim to to claim credit for the attacks on Twitter, saying we combined password stuffing and social engineering together to beat the teenage Bitcoin cheater. An apparent reference to the, you know, the Twitter hack, Uh, the Twitter ringleader, I guess, Graham Ivan Clark, they say, who was arrested last week. Credential stuffing is when the attacker uses previously leaked passwords to break into accounts made by the same email address, taking advantage of the common human tendency to reuse passwords. Social engineering is a catch all way is a catch-all for ways to trick people into giving you information this we get. Claims of hacking uh, claims of hacking credit on Twitter should be taken with hefty boulders of salt, but some combination of password reuse and sim swapping could certainly be at the heart of the Reddit hacks since the takeovers occurred. Wait, what? Since the ta- ta- okay, yeah, Reddit users have been scrambling to figure out what happened and to protect their own accounts. A post published Friday afternoon by a Reddit community moderator warns people to look for unexpected password reset emails and encourages mods to change their passwords. I actually got one of these. Really? Yeah, I did. I didn't. I didn't think anything of it. I don't. I don't. I don't have any subreddits or anything. Right. So I think what happened was somebody you tried using one of my emails for some reason, and I I got some weird notification. Oh. Yeah, but there's there's nothing. I don't know what they're going. To, I don't moderate any subreddits or anything like that. 
So anyway, I'm not going to I'm not going to get too much into the rest of what they say because they have no idea what they're talking about, but they show this <laughs> image right here. Yeah, this is a terrible article. It just says like the MAGA messaging is less disturbing than the hacker's ability to pull it off, blah blah blah. They're not even telling you what the images are. I look, look at this. What is this? What? This is one of the things they posted. What, this, this, what does it mean? I don't know. And it and it's clearly it's somebody wrote something in Chinese. So we have this post. Watch, it's like a bunch of swears that we just put up. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know yeah. what it means. So yep. who knows what it is? Yeah. <laughs> so subreddit drama tracked all of the different subreddits that got hit by this. And the funny thing about their messages is that they they believe it. Like, look at this. This this comment says, I wonder if anyone's like, quote, I wasn't going to vote for Trump before, but now that his supporters hacked the accounts of the mods of r slash Naruto, I will. <laughs> Do they really think? Sure. Do they really think that's what happened? Maybe. This this really look. I don't I don't know exactly what happened, but I'll tell you what. Look at this. This is part of the match. I can't read any of this. For all I know, look at this Goya bean. For all I know, this is a bunch of slurs and swears. I guess. Magoya. America lyric American lyrics in best country language. Huh. Here are ten things Democrats did right. Nothing. They suck. It's, it looks like it's written by someone who speaks Chinese yeah. and has second language English. Or like a bot or something? Or just had, However, it, had it translated and didn't understand how to fix, to make it, you know, correct. Right. It could be, however, somebody wrote in English, translated to Chinese, and then back to English, so that it seems like it was For, Chinese hackers. 4D chess. Yeah, man. Or Dude. maybe it was Chinese hackers. Like, what? what does it matter? Like... You know, who who do they think or what is what is the point of it? What what are they getting out of this? Well, already a lot of people think Trump supporters did this. <laughs> why? Why do they think Trump supporters? <laughs> no, did no, it? no. Why would why would Trump supporters dig up weird Chinese versions of what they would Wired do? didn't say that. Wired just said yeah. Trump pro Trump messages were hacked onto these Reddit accounts. Right. And now you're going to be seeing a bunch of these lefties posting saying like these people must be stopped. They're insane and they're yeah. not going to know anything about the context. So we look at this and we can clearly see like I really don't think Trump supporters are writing Chinese. No. And it comes right after Donald Trump targeted this massive company Tencent. Oh, yeah. Now, of course, if you hop over to the Donald dot win, they straight up say the top comment anarchist false flag alert. Mm -hmm. Yep. This happened immediately after announcing the Tencent ban for a reason. And they go on to say, you know, NSA or self-sabotage, whatever. The point is, the top comment on the Donald forum, which is now separate from Reddit, the Donald.win, they're saying it's a false flag. Yep. And I think that makes sense because Agreed. you end up with people saying things like, what, one of the comments is, why can't Trump supporters just leave us alone? And people believe it. Yes, they do. And I, I'm willing to bet if you go on Reddit now, it's not even about whether they believe it. You know there's going to be these far lefties who use this, they weaponize this. And they're going to say, did you see what those Trump supporters did the other day? They like took over and vandalized a whole bunch of forums for sports and games. One of, one of the comments was talking just about this, uh, specifically about the motive for Trump supporters. And they said, why would Trump supporters hack all these subreddits? And the response is, you need to, what, what they said was that you need to understand that Trump supporters don't care about winning. They care about mocking you for having no power. Mm. They want to show you they're, they're more powerful than you and they want to laugh while they do it. That's just a silly, ridiculous way to look at what's going on when you consider all of the Chinese messages and all these things popping up. Yeah. I mean, it makes more sense to me that, I mean, this this whole Tencent thing could could ruin Spotify, could ruin League of Legends. Fortnite is in the crosshairs. Like, we don't know the implications of how it's going to change these online games that, I mean, you really think about who's playing it. 10 years old to like 30 year olds like that there's a huge base in these games so if suddenly like they can't play it anymore or they get cut off from from that game that's that's insane so yeah. so they might like i don't know who it is but i have there's no doubt in my mind it's not trump supporters right i, I think that or that it's trump supporters i, I doubt it completely you're saying it's not trump supporters. It's, it's not trump supporters there's no way i it reeks of a chinese psyop true it could it, it could theoretically be like, I don't know, people in Hong Kong who like Trump. Right. It could be some dumb kids who don't care either way. We really I, don't I know. I doubt that. I doubt that. Just some this, dumb kids think it's funny. I doubt that it's just some dumb kids. Man, it's so I mean, weird, though. Right after he's banning WeChat and Tencent, and he's coming down on, on China. You know, it's like all these these little things like the executive order about Hong Kong. 
you know, leading up to now, it's like you put those two together now, you know, where he can uh, halt, uh, seize assets. If you're if you're connected to any one of these things, now add this into the play. You could seize the assets of all these companies. Exactly, it's crazy. Like you think about it, if he connects it, that they could, like the U.S. government can seize the assets of anyone aiding the Chinese government. In reference to Hong Kong, true. But because they are all doing it, it exactly. The, so Trump's Trump issued an executive order that was basically like, if you mess with Hong Kong, we can like freeze your assets. Yep. The only thing is, it was so vague. You can basically be like, this guy is a baker who provided a cake to the wedding of this guy who's in the mailroom of the Chinese Communist Party, yep. who works, you know, in the party, therefore, and that's that's it. He can sanction the baker. And who else who else is he going after? Big Pharma. He just gave a big F you to Big Pharma. Now he's hiding. Yeah, now he's hiding. I mean, he just he literally <laughs> just said yesterday, I have ri- very rich enemies who don't like what I'm doing with this going after China and going after Big Pharma has been milking Americans. Like he's basically saying if, if a drug is only $3 over in Mexico and they're charging $400 in America, it's now illegal to do that. You have to charge the same as what it is in Mexico. So Big Pharma's taking a huge cut. China, this is the, anyone that's got ties to China is taking a big hit. This is the craziest thing about the medicine because I was arguing with some people about universal health care earlier, mm-hmm. trying to point out that universal health care needs to have a limit somewhere where right. like what's the level of care you can provide and then what level of care is covered by private insurance. Yeah. But of course, you know, Bernie and them were like, uh, you know, they want to abolish private insurance altogether. That would make it impossible for certain treatments to get to certain people. So it's Correct. kind of a weird idea. Yeah. But like but anyway, I don't want to get into too much of that. But I was like, you know, the president just said. We should have lower prices. We shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't have, you know, in Canada, it's 50 cents and here it's, you know, $50 or more. But I can't get any of these lefties to actually admit that Trump is offering something better than Joe Biden is in in these areas. Yeah. And if you think about it, it's like we're basing the price of universal health care on the current system. Right. So, like, if these drugs cost three grand per person, where in Canada it's 50 bucks. You know, the, the system that we're, we're calculating it is for the $3,000 to go to these middlemen that are getting money off that system. So if you if you change the, the whole math to to make it so it's the new price, it, it becomes significantly it's, it's, easier. Your argument is still true, though. I agree with there's always going to be some, you know, diseases that are way too much money, millions of dollars yeah. because it's there's only, you know, 100 people a year, 100 patients that could be cured by it. If right, right. if that. So you might need a specialist who gets exactly. paid a ridiculous you know, sum, which requires decades of training. Right. And then you might need like, you know, the bark of the the uh, Gorbo tree <laughs> from the deep within the Amazon forest, which sits atop the mountain of Valerian, whatever. Yeah, this isn't like, like 2050 where we got Gorbo rooms, you right. know, where you can just go in and grab a little bit of Gorbo and you're, you're saved. So th- th- there's research, <laughs> there's labor, and there's, there's things involved. Yeah. And so... You know, you look at you look at Joe Biden and it's, he's a disaster. You look at Donald Trump and he's doing things and he's talking about things that are 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 better for a lot of these progressives for Americans. Yeah. But but uh, there's a lot of people who just live off tribalism. That's their, true. their whole their whole shtick is, you know, I'm on this team, therefore you're bad. Yeah. And there's there's like there's like three teams, basically. You know, there's there's the far left who hates everybody else. <laughs> there are the Democrats who hate Trump, but will use the far left when they can. And then there's like the bigger tent of y'all are crazy, you know. So I think like yeah. the, the the bigger tent has liberals, moderates, conservatives, libertarians, all saying, "Yo, you, you guys are losing your minds." Democrats, you guys are nuts. <laughs> yeah, Democrats are mad with power, and the far left is trying to use. They're, they're both using each other. Mm-hmm. I think the far left is better off with Trump because it clears the it clears out the establishment. We talked about this yesterday, but take a look at this story. Yeah, but they won't they won't ever see it that way. Because they've got it in their brain. NPCs. And that, that TDS is way too strong for them. Yeah. They're, they're non-play, non-player characters. Yep. They say things that make no sense. They have no idea what they're talking about. I was trying to talk to somebody, and they just started insulting me. And, I, and I'm, like, I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm like trying to agree with you on universal you know, basic health care. Right. Why are you insulting me? And then they're just like, oh, I don't know. And I'm <laughs> like, yeah, it's a good—what? It's, what? Like, they made a post about universal health care, and I was like, here's a way I think we can do it. And they were like, oh, my, you know, you're so dumb, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what, man? They don't actually want to have a conversation. Step down from your emotions. Yeah, they're please. just angry. Yep. And so I think they, they attach these tribal identifiers like, I believe in these things, not because they truly understand it, yeah. but because it's their team colors. 
Like, I'm for these things. I have no idea how any of this works. So therefore, I'll insult anybody who questions it. Yeah. Even if you're like in agreement, like, I wonder what can we do in this regard? They're like, F you, you're dumb. Okay. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune into this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or check us out on iTunes and Spotify. And we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.